James P.K. Sangmao Loong Bahaka Post Sinchar Ka Congress Haka Jala Ka Jingpunmi Boarding Naka Sola Kamchim Ladon Satya Pat Menta Kanika Sorkar Kalamang Bakan Punmi Hadu Kandai Po Megawatt Ka Boarding Naka Sola Bat Hadin Hindu's name Ansa Kinti Yaka Jingpunmi Boarding Naka Sola Shaka Chispa Megawatt Ulong Ru Bahalor Kanika Jingpun Rikam La Kersan Pisa Yaka Dakatanat New and Renewable Energy Jonga Sorkar Pudding Kani ka sorkar ka pamenta kalala ban penyo ya karam na ka EDB ka balong chispa life ar point pra million dollar na kamta ban pendap ya kijing e jong ka sorkar ha ka bay day bat ka boarding ulong ba kijing e halo kijing satu ka transformer bat ki wire ulong ba ya ki wire an sa penyak no na po kendo bat ya kani an sedang swa haslong juai bat tura Friends, at this point, we do not see the need to play along the lines of petty politics of the Congress party. If they have chosen that path, path perhaps that is the only way they feel that they can stay relevant. Our vision and diligence is clear as our primary accountability partners are the citizens of the state of Meghalaya. Hence, with the need to inform the people, there, here are some of our achievements and future plans of action. In the state of Meghalaya, previously not a single megawatt worth of solar power was produced. There have been many projects and they have never seen the light of day. After the NPP-led government came into power, 90 megawatts worth of solar power has been sanctioned and initiated for the state. Focusing on more power generation, we will be adding 100 megawatts of solar generation in the next six months for which the tendering process is presently going on. As a matter of fact, Meghalaya has received the highest sanction for this from the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Government of India. Uh, the government has also managed to bring in an ADB grant worth $132.8 million for the state of Meghalaya to overcome its power-related issues and challenges. Apart from that, to reduce unfortunate incidents of electrocution due to, non, uh, due to no fencing of transformers or exposed wiring, we have decided to go for 100% underground cabling in Shillong, Tura and Jowai. We have also decided to replace old wires with uh, uh, aerial bunched cables in rural areas in the ADB Phase 2 program. The AB cables will be insulated and hence mitigate all the risks and also reduce theft at the same time. This will not only reduce dangers but also ensure aesthetic beauty of the city. Additionally, renovation and modernization of hydropower projects is also under process and will be completed in six to eight months time. This will help us to increase the efficiency and help in uh, more generation. The government is also planning to upgrade 2,214 kilometers of distribution lines in the state to minimize losses and improve efficiency of electricity transmission to the houses of consumers. These are just some of the interventions that we have uh, we have initiated, and these we are very confident will not just improve the efficiency, will not just um, imp uh, reduce ATNC losses, will not just reduce transmission and distribution losses, uh, but will also help in uh, increasing the revenue generation of the MECL. So um, underground cabling, as we know, that um, uh, this is uh, something which is being adopted by many countries abroad. It is a concept which is, uh, it's not uh, entirely new. This has already uh, been uh, tried out in police bazaar. And this is something that was done on a pilot basis and just left on the shelf. And we decided that um, uh, this is not just to improve the aesthetic look of the city because it is definitely an eyesore. What we see lie, uh, wires strung across the city and these are very haphazard, uh, you know, uh, most of the times and uh, there are also issues of um, 
um, certain seasons wherein uh, these uh, wires they touch each other because of uh, you know gale uh, you know strong winds and there have been instances where wires have snapped because of that uh, and uh, these pose a great risk to the public so uh, keeping all these things in consideration into consideration we decided that aerial uh, sorry underground cabling is uh, the solution to such kind of problems so every time uh, we want to before the rainy season start um, bef uh, the MSCL cannot just go and uh, trim any of the branches of any of the trees without taking permission from the forest department that becomes a very lengthy process and in the meantime uh, you know things could go wrong so a long term solution to this is just to bring those uh, cables and take them underground uh, number one, you reduce the risk of such things happening. Number two, the aesthetic appeal of the city goes up. Uh, number three, uh, once you have underground cabling, there is uh, very less maintenance. Uh, it reduces the amount of maintenance. So uh, from that point of view, uh, underground cabling is something that uh, we are trying out for Shillong, City and Jovai, as I already mentioned. So uh, number two, in uh, the um, generation sector, you have meant you have asked me about the renovation and modernization so uh, these are dams which um, uh, you know some of them uh, go as uh, as back in time as 1957 some of these dams uh, hydroelectric power projects and uh, there is a need um, to not ju uh, to not just to um, uh, you know improve the efficiency but also from the point of view of safety you know that we need to um, renovate and modernize these dams because we have done a preliminary study and we have also come to the uh, the realization that we can Im increase the generating capacity of some of these dams if we are to uh, give a slight tweak here and there and uh, renovate and modernize them so from these angles uh, we are undertaking the renovation and modernization of um, our old projects because these are assets for us, assets which can be scaled up. 